attack of the killer bee movie. was out with Liz Humphreys. She didn't come home either. Oh? I want you to find out why. And don't leave a stone unturned in doing so. Do I make myself clear? I understand, Mr. Wheeler. Just between us, Liz Humphreys and Pat Wheeler didn't get home last night. Oh. They were supposed to meet us at the drive-in, but they didn't show up. We wondered what happened. Do you think they might have run off to get married? Well, they've been going steady for over a year now. And I know they talked about it, but... No, not like for right now. Where could I find the rest of the gang? Well, I don't know about Bob and Gordy, but Chuck and Rick went over to Easton. They wanted to check with the Wheelcats about next Saturday night's platter party. Next Saturday night? Yeah. You warn the gang I'll be cruising that pass that night. No dragon. Okay, I'll tell them. If you get any postcards from those two, let me know. Take a look. We're just sitting here. Probably fell off of a car. No scratches on it. Well, maybe it landed in a bush. Now, as thin as that imitation leather is, even a bush would take some of it off. Look at this. Half a pack of cigarettes, one unlit. I'll take it in. I'll put it in the car for you. Somebody will be around to claim it. See you later, son. Right, Sheriff. Phone call. 
when I was serving dinner to Mr. Willow, he became very angry. He said, if I saw you again, you would have me sent back to France. He can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. He's my sponsor. He put up the bond. That was to guarantee that you wouldn't become a ward of the state. Now, we don't have to worry about that. You know how to speak English well enough to get a job anywhere. He said it's immoral for me to go out with you. What's immoral about? Nothing. I don't want to go away, Chief. You won't have to, honey. They think it's your fault that Pat ran away. Well, he can think whatever he wants to think. Shouldn't take it out on you. Yeah? Howdy, son. Have you heard anything from Pat and Liz? No, nothing. Chase, I'm in a jam, and I need your help. Wheeler swings a big enough stick in this country to make it rough, and he's doing it. Oh, I can understand his concern about Pat, but I just don't have a big enough force to comb this area inch by inch. Is he demanding that? There was a man killed in a wreck in a small canyon in a big city last year. And it took them 19 days to find him. I don't know what they expect of me. Yeah, I remember that. Well, look, Sheriff, maybe I can get tomorrow off and... I'll get the gang and we can go out and search that pass. At least you can put that in your report. I was hoping you'd say that. Let's call it a day. We've covered half the roads in this county. Yeah. How about that ravine? That runs along here for about eight miles. We'll start from here and you come from the other end. Yeah. All right. Right. Sure is beat down around here. Look at that. What is it, Shay? Looks like an animal of some sort. Drug something along here. You mean a wild animal here? Sure, could be anything, even a mountain lion. Oh, come on. Okay. Ooh, that's bitter. Must have an awful lot of mineral in it. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Take a breather first. Chase, I, I don't like this. Let's go back. Are you afraid? Now you come on over here with me. Bottom of the wash. Two or three miles back by the old reservoir. Were they in it? No, nothing. Uh, drive me back to my car and I'll bring up the record. I wonder what that was. Oh, probably just a rock slide. For some reason, this place gives me the creep. It always has. Lisa! Turn the motor on. The winch is already engaged. Now if I yell, turn the key off. Okay.
We'll meet you back at the garage, okay? Okay, let's go, Danny. Gosh, I wish you boys would have called me before you drug it out. I might have found some clues to help us out. I'm sorry, Sheriff. The hard part's telling Mr. Wheeler. I sure dread that. It's not like we found them there. He's sure gonna raise Ned, because I didn't find this wreck sooner. Where's Mr. Condon? Oh, he went down to the field with a load of fuel oil. Back <clears throat> in two or three hours. I'm gonna close up. I'll see you later. Yes, Sheriff. Well, you should have been back an hour ago. No. Where? That's awful. No, it couldn't be Mr. Compton. All right. But at the garage? All right, I'm leaving now. What is it, Chief? It's a wreck, an oil truck. It could be Mr. Compton. Honey, I'm awfully sorry, but I've got to leave. Compton's rake. Be careful, it's pretty hot. He's not in it. He may have been hurt and crawled away. Let's look around. Come on, Harris. Okay. Compton! Mr. Compton! Any luck, Chase? No, nothing. Pat and Liz might have eloped. But Compton ought to be around here. Maybe he's in the hospital. No. I checked there before I left my place. Would Compton have any reason to want to get lost? No, none that I can think of. Trying to make a hot rodder out of you. I'll get it. Hello. Yeah, hello, Sheriff. The what? Book on reptiles. Yeah, I guess I still have it around here somewhere. Yeah, sure. I have to take Missy over by the Blackwells. I'll stop by on my way to pick up Lisa. Okay? There was another report out of Russia or the Ukraine. It was in the paper a couple of months ago. Maybe you saw it. About a baby that weighed 130 pounds when it was 10 months old and was taller than its mother. Grew up to be a giant. Yeah, and that same thing could happen right here. Did you see any footprints around any of those wrecks? 
No. Kilo monster footprints? Yeah, a big one. About the size of a bus. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Some of the survivors of the train wreck saw it. A giant lizard. Train wreck? Where? At the bridge over Wilson's Wash. When? Tonight, about an hour ago. The troopers were inclined to pass it off as shock or optical illusion. The Gila monster. I shouldn't have told you about this until after the party, but I just thought you'd want to know. Hadn't we better warn everybody? No. It operates in and around the wash. Troopers have got that staked off for a couple of miles. Just keep it to yourself. It might cause panic. Telling me what this is all about? Have you been down to the train wreck? No. Well, I have. I talked to a trooper about my son's car. He said it shouldn't have been moved until a thorough investigation had been made and it had been photographed. This wasn't done, was it, sure? I thought not. It was removed and clues lost without authority. You didn't put that in your report, did you, sure? Of course you didn't, and I'll tell you why. You were protecting that Chase Winston. Let me ask you something else. Have you heard the reports about a giant lizard? Do you believe him? I don't know, Mr. Wheeler. It doesn't seem possible. Well, why not? There have been giants before. That's true. But how could anything that big go unnoticed in this area? Have you ever walked the length of Williams Wash? No. You know anybody that has? No. That area is so choked with underbrush, it isn't even good hunting ground. And I say it is possible for a giant lizard to have lived there for years without being seen. Now, if that is the case, my son's dead. Nitroglycerin, enough to blow up half this town. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to help. All right. Now take these, hold them, and don't let them bump. And for heaven's sakes, don't drop.
We picked up his trail. Followed him across country. What did you hit him with? My brand new 100% completed hot rod. You'd have had to start in the next county to get up enough momentum to do that to him. Not with four quarts of nitroglycerin right away. You rode across that rough field carrying nitro? Yes, sir. Do you know what could have happened to you? It did. I lost my car. Oh, don't worry about that. The railroad will be glad to buy your new one. I sure did, Missy. You were really traveling. I guess Chase is out of a job. That's right. Would you make it a point to have the boy come around and see me in the morning? I'll bring him around in the morning. Angel, baby. Angel, baby.